In the sinus of a lymph node, the pathogen is engulfed by a B cell bearing antigen-specific antibodies. Processing and presentation of this antigen to a T cell completes the activation of the B cell. Although the antibodies on this B cell have sufficiently high affinity to allow activation, their affinity is not high enough to facilitate an effective immune response. The means by which antibody affinity will be enhanced is a microevolutionary process involving mutation and selection. The first step in honing this affinity is creation of a germinal center. Then, in the nucleus of this activated B cell, along the gene encoding antibody proteins, the activation-induced cytidine deaminase protein, AID, induces point mutations. The rate of mutation jumps by a factor of 1 million. The DNA is replicated, and the B cell begins to divide. The growing population of B cells, now called centrocytes, begins to express these hypermutated genes, producing antibodies with a range of affinity for the target antigen. The germinal center in which the centrocytes are proliferating also contains follicular dendritic cells, FDCs, which present antigen on their surface. Competition for this limited quantity of antigen will provide the basis of selection among the centrocytes. The hypermutated antibodies expressed by the centrocytes have a range of affinities for the antigen. Competition ensures that those with lower affinity fail to bind. A high affinity interaction induces the centrocyte to spread on the surface of the FDC, capturing more and more antigen. Higher affinity antibodies induce a greater spreading response. The centrocyte contracts, stripping antigen from the surface. This captured antigen is presented to T cells, which return the chemical signals required for centrocyte survival. Lower affinity centrocytes, which fail to capture antigen, undergo apoptosis. Only the highest affinity centrocytes remain from the variable population after competitive selection. They will continue to mutate and divide. Again, the range of affinity provides the basis for selection by competitive binding. As unsuccessful cells undergo apoptosis, affinity increases with each generation. Hypermutation and selection, acting on a large population over a number of generations, produce dramatic evolutionary effects, as only the most fit centrocytes contribute genetic material to the next generation. A large population of high affinity centrocytes is produced. The cells that have survived this competition can then differentiate into immune effector cells, like plasma cells, which produce massive amounts of these high affinity antibodies and play a key role in an efficient immune response.